What's good, everybody? It's your man, Mr. Faia, and uh, I'm back with a video to talk about my 18i20 fourth gen made by Focusrite and how I went about upgrading it with more IO. And I did that by purchasing a used Frontier Design Tango 24 ADDA converter. So if you happen to have an 18i20 or uh, something, a, a similar interface, then you're going to need a digital analog to analog digital converter in order to be able to expand your IO. Keep in mind that all interfaces do not have this capability. Um, in this case, we're utilizing the uh, ADAT light pipe in order to be able to make the expansion. Now, I wanted to be able to do this, um, but on a budget. And uh, so I went over to Reverb and I came across the Tango 24 made by Frontier Design. And uh, this will actually give me an additional eight ins and outs via ADAT light pipe. And uh, I'm gonna actually talk about that term ADAT light pipe uh, here in a second here. But in order to make these connections, there's a couple of cables that need to be purchased. I went over to Amazon and I picked up these ADAT light pipe cables or they may also be referred to as toss link cables. Just so that there's an understanding, they're the same thing. What happens is that the toss link cables is actually the physical connection for these optical cables. They were actually created by Toshiba back in like, I think it was like 1983 or something like that. Um, but ADAT light pipe was created by Elisis in the early 90s. And it's more of a protocol for communicating over these cables. And it allows for eight channels of audio to be able to be transmitted simultaneously. So lastly, what's needed for the connection is this uh, BNC cable and it has to be 75 ohms. And what this cable does is it actually provides the signal for proper clocking. All you need is one cable to connect between the two devices. Okay, so let's take a look at how we're going to connect these two devices. You got your 75 ohm BNC cable and then you got your ADAT light pipe. So you're going to take one ADAT light pipe from the 18920 out and connect it to the in on the Tangle 24. And then you're going to do the same on the other cable. Then you're going to use the BNC cable and go from the 18920 to the in on the Tangle 24. Now, unlike the 18920, there are two BNC connections on the Tangle 24. So make sure you're going to the in because it will be the slave and it's going to receive its clocking from the 18i20. The Tangle 24 only has two sample rates. It's gonna be 48K and 44.1. Me personally, I always record in 48K. Now there's another switch on here. You need to make sure it's set to word clock because that's going to be basically pointing to the BNC. So that's how I expanded my 18i20. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you.